Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to do a video where I showcase how to um, set up uh, the motors in the Manta um, M8P uh, so how to set up the motors in the configuration file and how the motors are mapped to uh, the pin uh, the pin out the pin layout of the board so on the manual on page 10 there is this uh, uh, image of the board with all the pin uh, the pins of the board so where you uh, see uh, the numbering of the pins so up here in uh, violet or purple uh, there are the motors all the way here and um, in the configuration uh, file um, you need to set uh, the pins uh, they are um, assigned to each motor so for example this motor one top left and up here on the right side on the green uh, this green uh, here you can, you can see here m1 m2 are the motors and so on there are the pins so let me uh, pull up the uh, configuration file from clipper and um, okay here uh open in the browser i think uh hopefully you can read out so basically on stepper x which is motor one for the x-axis the pins that i need to set is the step pin the direction pin and the enable pin and the end stop pin okay plus there are other parameters that uh, for now I'm going to skip so for motor 1 which uh, I assign to step X uh, the pins are the step pin here on the on the green green table on on this side on the right side let me let me highlight it uh, here motor 1 so the stepper pin is PE2 and if I switch back to uh, the configurations uh, PE2 direction pin is PB4 and PC11 for enable pin so PB4 PE2 PB4 and PC11 and the last pin that I need to check is the end stop pin which is PF three so to check the answer and stop you go up here on the orange uh, table which is end pin and you get pf3 okay and so on basically you map the motor motor one with this motor one motor two three four and so on so you map the the motors pins with the end stop inside the configuration file and if i go back here uh, on my 3d printer i have a stepper x which will move the entire extruders um, left and right but i will have two motors on the y-axis because the entire x x-axis will mo move uh, uh, through the y-axis so i need to move a lot of weight because the entire extruder dual extruder pallet extruder are, are pretty heavy so i decided to uh, to use two motors on the y so for y motor two i assigned y which is usual 
but motor 3 which usually is assigned to motor z i assign i assign it to uh, a stepper y1 called and again i need to check the pin if they are correct uh, so step pin directional pin the enable pin and the end stop pin so pf12 11 pb3 and pf4 so if i go here here p12 p11 pb3 and then this stop here up here in the orange table is uh, pf4 good so the the other the other uh, y y1 is going to be uh, so motor 3 pb pd4 the direction here is going to be the same direction at, as the other motor okay so you the explanation uh, mark means not uh, PDF. basically it gives the opposite to the direction okay so uh, the PD so PD7 PD6 and PF10 and then end stop is PDF5 so if I go back here motor 3 I have P7 P6 and P10 and the end stop right here is PF5 correct yes here and then last motor so I have four motor the Z motor uh, for the Z axis which I will have one motor and it's going to be uh, like a CNC machine where where the entire extruder goes up and down and not the axis but just the extruder uh, one motor and I send the motor 4 to do stepper Z and it's PD2, PD3, and PD5 with PC0. So if I go back number four here, I have PD3, PD2, and PD5, and end stop is right here, and motor four is PC0. Okay, correct. Go back here, PC0. And then motor 5 and 6 are the two extruder. Uh, I'm going to do it uh, another video with this because uh, I have to figure out how to set all these parameters because I'm going to use, uh, uh, okay, for example, the nozzle size mine is going to be greater than one millimeter, probably 1.2 to 1.5, something like that the filament diameter I don't have a filament I'm using pallets so this parameter I need to figure out if I can remove it, uh, remove it or maybe uh, change this value uh, but anyway I have to do another video with that so five and six motors are for extruder extruder zero and one and of course again you have to set up the uh, pins uh, map the pins to the extruder uh, motors and the other motors are here of course uh, five and six and, and it's five and six okay and pretty much it that's it so you basically map you read this map for motors and the end stop you map to motor uh, motor one uh, two two three four five and six and six that's it so i just wanted to show uh how to do that it's pretty straightforward and um, uh, it's pretty easy um, now there are a bunch of other parameters here that I need to set for example my X 
position maximum is uh, 600 uh, millimeter while the Y is 1200 millimeters so Y Y uh, Y0 Y1 is 1200 millimeter and the Z I think it's going to be uh, 40 uh, 400 millimeter or 350 something like that uh, so I have to test that of course there are the speed and all the other uh, parameters I need to set that's it so I just wanted to share this uh, video how to set up uh, the clipper configuration file for the Manta M8P for the motors for x-axis y-axis and z-axis and the extruders and uh, and that's it so uh hopefully it was clear and um, please leave a like uh, leave a comment if you have any and share the video and i'm going to uh, see you next video bye bye thanks